Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. It is me, Candy Carly, and today I will be filming a iPhone 7 video. Um, I got the new iPhone 7 slash iPhone 7 horror story because some things happened, but I hope you guys enjoy this video and just keep on watching. So I got the new iPhone 7 a few weeks ago. I can't remember when, but a few weeks ago, um, but I have a very interesting story about getting it. So um, I have the iPhone Forever plan with Sprint, so that's why I'm upgrading well, I upgraded from the 6S to the 7, like, as soon as it came out, because that's what the plan promises, so that's what I was doing. So I went to the Sprint store to order my new phone, and I ordered it in 128 gigs matte black, because, oh my gosh, have you guys seen the matte black 7, or no? Oh my gosh, but it is so sexy, and I just loved it so much, I was so excited, and then one day after, um, my class my mom called me and told me that my phone was in so i was so excited to go get it so my boyfriend you guys know Jalen, he ended up taking me there to meet my mom at the sprint store and get my new iphone 7. i will insert a picture of the iphone 7 matte black somewhere around here it was so beautiful i was so excited for it my mom had already ordered me a case from amazon just a plain clear one because my birthday is next month in november so i would have got a better case then but oh my gosh so beautiful but um about a week and a few days of having my new iphone 7 the matte black one um i was about to get ready for my first concert i'll make a video about that by the way um i was getting ready and then my phone that morning was poop like my new seven was poop it wasn't working like i i can't even explain i've explained it too many times too many people too many people at the sprint store my mom my boyfriend oh my gosh so i tried to click the button you guys know that um the button on the iphone 7 isn't a button anymore but yeah i clicked the fake button and my phone just kept freezing and freezing and it wouldn't unlock like it would say unlocked but it wouldn't unlock I was like, what is going on and then my phone was just glitching and freaking out and like going black and coming back and going black and coming back and i said no what are you doing so then i finally got inside of my phone and then none of my apps will work like i pushed it and didn't open i was like no this is ridiculous so i tried to call myself from my home phone to see if like my phone service was working too and i called myself and like you know when you're on like your home screen on your iPhone, I was on the home screen, but the call was coming through, but it didn't tell me a call was coming through. Like my phone just kept vibrating, like bzz, 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 bzz. I was like, what? I'm calling, I know I'm calling, cause I'm the one calling, like, what's going on? Why is it vibrating? So then I hung up the home phone, and the phone kept vibrating, and I was like, this is getting to be too weird for me. This is, like, my new 7 is broken, and uh, I was so hurt. My mom wasn't home, so I was waiting for her to come home. I'm trying to get excited for this concert, and, like, it was just too much going on. Oh. And after um, it stopped glitching, it, like, went black for a long time. So, that was scary. I thought it was I broke it or something. I don't know. It was really scary. After that, it came back to life, <laughs> of course, and it was just being normal, but sometimes it will, like, freeze, like, mid whatever I'm doing or, like, I don't know. But I had just got that phone, and I didn't really want a new phone to be glitchy. Like, I didn't pay money for my phone to not work, for my new phone to not work. So, um... I went out to Sprint, um, shout out to the Sprint store where I live because they're always so nice to me and they're always so helpful. Um, we went there and we told the man, like, hey, my phone, um, it's like glitching and stuff, like, what am I supposed to do? And he said, we can wait a few days, see if it's still doing it, and bring it back. It was still doing it, so guess what I did? I brought it back. Mm -hmm. Brought it back. I'm never to keep a broken phone. No. So I brought it back and had no problems, um. Yeah, but I ended up getting the gold 7 instead of the matte black. Um, I loved the matte black. It was beautiful and all, but I'm super OCD, super picky, extremely picky. 
very picky with my phones and with my cases. So the phone, um, because it was black, you could see all like the dust that, like on the phone and like fingerprints. And I'm like, no, no, I can't, I can't take it because I'll focus on it all day, and I just, I can't. I really, I literally can't. And the case that I got for it, um. For my seven, I got a good case for it on the day that I took it to the Sprint store the first time to tell the man that it wasn't working. And I got the Casemate Naked Tough. And I will insert a picture if I can. But um, it was just like a clear case, two piece case. And it was nice, it was sturdy, but oh my goodness. The case told me it was scratch resistant, it had an anti scratch coating or whatever. The case scratched literally the same day I had it. I don't do anything with my phone. I don't throw it. I don't put it in my purse. I don't, like nothing. It was no reason for it to have been scratched. So, put it right back in that box with everything that it came with, warranty and everything. And I put the receipt in the box and I said, I'm taking that back because I'm not, no, I can't do it. Like I said, I can't, I can't look at that type of stuff. Like it'll bother me. I'll stare at it all day. So, I know that was a long story. <laughs> But, um, I film with my iPhone, in case you guys didn't know, this is a beautiful picture by the way, but I film with my iPhone so I can't really show it to you, if I figure out a way I will, but this is the iPhone that I got, it's the iPhone 7, um, a 128 gig like my matte black one, and uh, this is pretty much what it looks like, <laughs> even though I can't show you, and the case I got, that's what we should talk about, the case that I got I really like, um, it's the Tech 21 Evo Check, and I've seen these cases before for like my 6S, um, never got one, but oh my goodness, it is perfect, I love it, I can't see scratches in it or anything, it's like, it's perfect, and it like shows my phone through the back, and then the sides are white, like right there, so that's the only case that I have for it right now. Well, I do have another case, but I don't know if I should include that in my concert story or not, but. One that my mom got me from Amazon, and um, when I went to my first concert, I wore like a burgundy shirt and like black light. It, I'll include all that in my concert video, but um, my phone case got dirty because my shirt bled onto it in burgundy, and I was... I was appalled. <laughs> I did not like that. It was so ugly. But like I said, I'm like just very OCD by my cases and stuff. So stop using that one. And the one I have now is perfectly fine. So yeah, I got the iPhone 7 in gold. And I got the Tech 21 Evo check case in clear or white for my phone. But um, yeah, that is the end of this. I got my new iPhone 7 slash iPhone 7 horror story video um i hope you guys enjoyed and right after this video is going to be my iphone 6s case collection my final iphone case collection because i can't use any of those cases for my seven. none of them fit it's very upsetting <laughs> but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one bye you guys